Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Texas Fly Fishing Report. This is the companion YouTube channel to www.texasflycaster.com where you can go to find highly detailed information about fly fishing in Texas. Hi guys, welcome to the Texas Fly Fishing Report. It is Friday, June 15th, 2018. My name is Shannon and I put on these reports whenever I have time and they are supplemental to www.texasflycaster.com. If you haven't been there, please go visit my website. So what I do on these reports is glean information from all different sources, try to put it all together and give you a snapshot of what you can do fly fishing in Texas during this time of the year and other times of the year. So what I'm seeing right now, unfortunately, is the weather has heated up extremely quickly and it's gotten really hot and it's really dry really fast. You know my favorite thing is saltwater fly fishing and so I'll just skip straight to the coast and tell you about that. Right now the heat is, it has turned on so from what I'm reading the fish are coming off the flats when it gets hot during the hot time of the day. The way to get around this, there's still some on the flats, but the way to get around this is to uh, time your trip to the coast or fly fishing on the coast if you're already there to the tides and early and late. So early and late will get you the cooler weather and, or cooler heat, get you out of the heat of the day and get you a lot better chance at uh, seeing and sight casting to redfish or even speckled trout. So if that's what you want to do on the coast. The whole thing looks about the same as far as I don't see any true hot spots there but you know at any time any place can turn on. I've heard that the tides are kind of running a little weak. In other words there's not as much water in the system as there typically is this time of year. Moon phase, all these other things go into that. Wind direction also will blow the water out. So you got to keep all this in mind. And those are the variables for the Texas Gulf Coast right now. Uh, you always got a shot at something on the coast. Inland and in North Texas where I am, I make my time, <laughs> spend my time fly fishing for carp off my skiff here um, and guiding and the lake is dropping really quickly because of the dry weather and the evaporation coming from wind and I guess consumption because there's no rain so people are watering like crazy and that's uh, what that's doing is creating a lot of problems in my world because the fish are kind of spooked up out and freaked out <laughs> let's combine all that into one word spooked freaked out and uh, they're hard to find right now and they are um, very skittish because their habitat is being encroached on by dry land and so as the lake drops off these fish are, are less and less they're where they were one day they're not there they can't be the next day because it's dry it's dropping that fast here in north texas throughout the rest of the state there are places where bass are definitely on on in shallow on top waters and that's going on you do that early and late again because of temperature so you know we can fly fish for bass just as good as as the guys in the big glitter boats and it's just an early and late situation unless you want to throw out some sinking lines i was uh since the last time we talked i was in uh, on lake texoma and although i didn't catch any stripers i didn't see anybody catching stripers it's a day on day off thing and I think a storm that came through might have stirred them up a little bit. I've seen that before where you get a thunder and lightning event that that kind of rattles things it seems like to me or, or I just don't know what I'm doing. It doesn't, it's really hard to tell when you're, when you're dive, diving down deep and trying to get down 30, 40 feet to these uh, stripers with a fly rod. They're very difficult. Other than that, you know, right here, right now, as I said, difficult, hot very hot we're getting rain next week supposedly 50 percent chance of rain which will help uh, i'll be out probably go out in that just to uh, just to experience it and it's supposed to be a non-violent event so that should be good um, read the scroll at the end that has information about um, lots of different lakes in texas and uh, in a regional format and then of course it also has the texas gulf coast which is again my favorite place to go so I uh, thank you for watching, watch the scroll. Um, I also dropped in a chunk of footage to show you just how rough it is out there. The wind was really, um, it's starting to shut me down again. I had a, about a month shut down in April, May, 
because of the wind and now we're back on, into a wind situation again. So that's, that's very problematic. Last thing I want to show you, it just blew over so I remembered. This is a mosquito repellent. And what this is, this is a guy that I know came out with this. It's called southerncomfortproducts.net. Inside this bag is cow manure, dried cow manure. And when you burn it, it turns into a smoldering heap of dung. It's, it's treated, it's organic, so it's, everything is, is really pure, <laughs> pure dung. <laughs> pure S-H-I-T. Uh, so it burns anywhere from 30, 30 minutes to an hour and a half, I'd say, and it smolders. And what this does, these will cost uh, $4, I think, or, or something like, you can get three for $10, that includes shipping, something. I'll, I'll figure it out as far as if you want to buy them from me. But it's a mosquito repellent, and this stuff really works. I use it in my backyard. I use it every chance I get. You know, you just let it, you just light the light the bag, let it sit there and smolder. It doesn't weigh anything; has no weight to it at all. That's probably about an ounce and a half or two ounces right there for 45 minutes of bug protection. Much better than DEET and all these other uh, this other stuff. You know, that doesn't citronella. That's a placebo. It doesn't work. So that's that. Again, if you want to order direct, go to southerncomfortproducts.net and tell them where you found this. It's a really great product, one I believe in, and I don't promote products I don't believe in. So southerncomfort.net for your cow, Texas cow dung. Mosquito repellent, not cow dung, mosquito repellent. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week. Things are really speeding up here. My time frames are changing starting in July. I'll have much more time for this and other things. A lot more writing going on, a lot more videos beginning in July. A uh, big chunk of July is going to be dedicated to going to New Hampshire, driving with a friend in New Hampshire for, for a different, whole different set of circumstances, but that's what we'll be doing. I will be in Houston on June 25th that week that's a Monday for about three days if you get a chance drop me a text and I can meet you out at Bayou City Anglers that's my favorite fly shop right now in Texas and has been for a while and some good people there great conversation and if you get there at the right time maybe even some free beer so that's Bayou City Angler or Anglers and that is in Houston Texas don't skip that store. If you get a chance to go in, tell them I sent you and they'll hook you up. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.